Hey everybody, it's Cheryl. I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial here to show you how I made that split letter monogram in today's post. So uh, let's get started. First you're going to come over here and you're going to select your text tool. And then I like to use the Regal font. Um, you can find a link for it in my blog post. It's also a free font. You can just search for Regal. Um, you can use any font you'd like, but I really like this one. And I'm going to make an S and make it bigger so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, and come on little guy. Um, I'm going to turn in black here so we can see better um, what we're doing. Okay, so now we're going to split our letter. So we have our letter, our S here, and I'm going to come over and I'm going to choose the rectangle tool and I'm going to just draw a small rectangle across my letter S. Um, and then go ahead and just move it to wherever you want the letter to split. I like S is great because it's obviously it's a symmetrical letter so you can do it right in the center. If you have a letter like a G or an F where you um, you know like F you have that line in the center you need to maybe sometimes move that up or down. So just play around with it till you like it. So I have that right here and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click select all which selects both of my pieces and then up to my modify screen and I'm going to click subtract. Okay, so now our letter is split in half. Now before we can separate it, um, we need to select all the top half and come down here and group them together. Um, if you don't do that, this is what happens. So let's say we want to split our letter and I'm going to go ahead, oh, I'm going to pull it down and not everything comes with me. That's not cool. So to keep everything all nice and tidy and together, we just need to select the halves and click group. So now, when we separate it, everything stays like it should. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull it down to about there. And now we need something along the edges to clean them up a bit. So I'm going to come back up to my rectangle tool. And I'm going to make a little rectangle. And for our sake, I'm going to turn that black again just so we can see what's going on. And now when you place this, you actually want it to overlap your letters a little bit. Um, you know, just to cover it up a little better, it makes, the, it makes the seams work out really smoothly there. So to make the bottom one, we're just going to go ahead and right click on our guy and duplicate. So then it's the exact same size and you just move him down where you need him to be. And you can use your arrow keys, too, to nudge a little bit. Okay, so here we have our monogram here. And what I'm going to do then, come down and select all. And I'm going to come up to my modify, and I'm going to weld. So what that does is it makes those little um, rectangles that we just added a part of the S. So when you cut, you won't, your machine won't cut a line right here. It'll be just all one solid piece. So now I'm going to type our name here in the middle, and I'm going to select my text tool again, and I'm just going to go, so it's something simple, like a Times Roman. You can choose whatever font you want again. Um, well, you know what, I'm going to do all capitals. Yep, my last name is really, really long. <laughs> and again, just going to make him dark so we can see him. And you can then... You know, size however you need. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. And there you have it, a split letter monogram. So um, you can also do a few things. You can, if you want to put a border around it, that's really cool. Um, let me show you that real quick. So we're just going to draw another square, rectangle, whatever you need, whatever you're using here. I'm gonna, sorry, move mine over to make a rectangle. So here's my little rectangle. So I have him here. And while he's selected, I'm going to come down here to this offset, and I'm going to click offset. And do you see it made a little border with rounded corners? That's because round is selected over here, so I'm, I'm a corner gal, so I will choose the sharp corner. Um, and then you have a border around it. You can do the exact same thing with a circle, too. Just draw a circle, click the offset, and it'll give you that that beautiful border around it. You can also add established, you can add the first names on the bottom, anything you want, but that's how you make the split letter tutorial. So, thanks so much.